everybody welcome back to my channel i'm kathy from creative kid cat okay so what we have here are two different items that um i wanted to show you so um i actually received this today and i think from the tracking number that was on the other side i think i have the correct item but um what we're going to do today is to compare two different um What's this? To compare a genuine licensed product compared to a uh, and uh, what they call this a stolen image. To compare the two together, so because um in in diamond painting world we know that um there are a lot of um a lot of artists that had their um their their works stolen by um, different companies especially in aliexpress so this is one of them that i wanted to actually um show you guys so um this is an original artwork this prod i actually ordered this from um this same so the the painting that i'm going to show you is the same painting that i got from diamond art club and it's Princess Mononoke by Jojo's Art. So this particular artwork um, is an original work by Jojo's Art. And um, I wanted to show you what's the difference if we get the items from a genuine licensed uh, company like a Diamond Art Club compared to that of a uh, stolen work from AliExpress. So I haven't opened this yet. And this one I had already opened. So if you guys hadn't haven't seen the haven't seen the unboxing of this particular um diamond painting i will be linking it down below for you guys but for the purpose of uh this particular video i wanted to show you the difference not just in price but also in the quality and also the stuff that you get from from the from the box itself from the supplier itself so first of course i wanted to show you the different packaging so when you order your um genuine product from uh, diamond art club you will get your diamond painting in this sturdy nice box and um it does say that um it's a square diamond and um uh they have a sticker label right in front and they actually give you another sticker which i actually stuck at the end of the box so when i keep the box um when i keep this box under my bed I can see all right um, when I peek under the bed. I can see that the this particular um, painting is, is is inside this particular box. While the one that I got from AliExpress is actually um, packaged in a poly bag like this. So Diamond Art Club suggests uh, well the size for this particular painting is supposed to be forty four cm by thirty two cm. To capture the, um, what they call this, to capture the quality, uh, not quality, but the, but the detail of the painting into, uh, the, the detail of the work, artwork into painting. So that's what their recommended size. While the one that I ordered from AliExpress is actually of a different size altogether. So let's take a look. So in AliExpress, I don't want to say the name of the company because I don't want to actually uh, promote um, people to actually buy from them. However, for the purpose of this video, I went ahead to order and they actually gave me a different size. So the option for the size for this particular painting is actually different from the one that um, Diamond Art Club suggests. From what I remember, when you take it out. Okay. Oh my God. So it's actually crushed. So as you can see, the diamond painting came in this because it's in a poly bag without any other um without any other packaging to protect it it came in crushed 
so the it came in crushed like this so when you flip it over I can see from here wait let me see it doesn't say what the size is but um I'll be linking uh, I'll be flashing the size right over here for you guys uh, later on we're going to measure it so that we could compare so okay so look at the back it's all crinkled up so that's one of the main difference is that this particular painting came in um, in in a canvas that had um, double-sided tape instead of um, like the one compared to the one that I got from Diamond Art Club let's open it okay so this is the one that I got from Diamond Art Club so it came in this canvas I think it's a patented canvas made out of velvet tarpaulin and um, they actually the glue that they use is actually pour glue which makes this um, which makes it uh, more what do you call this which makes it more malleable I think compared to the one in port glue which is like so so when you compare the size they are both in square this is actually shorter but um, it's actually shorter in what do you call that width but it's longer in length so I have no idea if the the photo will be distorted but because the size is weird like for this one you can see right that the the its proportion like the wolf and the and princess mononoke is actually proportional in size while this one i have no idea later on let's have a look at that let's have a look so before we do that though, let's have the painting relax and let me just see this the Diamond Art Club had 30 different colors while this one has, I have no idea. Two. Wow, surprisingly, they have 42 different colors. And take note that both of them are actually in square. So uh, now let's take a look at the toolkit. So this is the one that I got from, uh, what do you call this, from this company in AliExpress. So it actually came in with... Um, two white pens but it does they do give you the fourth placer and the ninth placer and some baggies and a rectangular wax with a tray well the one that i got from diamond art club actually had uh one pen blue pen with a um pointy tweezer because it's in square it's it has a pointy tweezer with a tray A squishy and two waxes it uh, they actually actually gave me some um, baggies as well however because I had already opened it I used them up already so there you go so those are the the differences in tools there's not much difference except this one has the tweezer and the squishy inside and while a lot, uh, when I got them, they actually didn't give me any multi-placer. However, this one did. So that's the main difference. And then let's have a look at the drills. So this is the package that I got from AliExpress. So it did, um, as I mentioned, it had 42 different um, color, 42 colors. While the one that I got 
from Diamond Art Club had 38. So this is the pack that I got from Diamond Art Club, as you can see. Uh, let's take a look at the one from from AliExpress. So the one that I got, uh, sorry, let's take a look at the one from AliExpress. Colors. Okay, so the main difference is that they're actually packaged in sm small bags like this. So I have to do my inventory for this particular diamond painting before I could move on. And they actually give gave me um uh what do you call this uh an, an inventory sheet. And on the inventory sheet, they did tick off. They did take off the the DM the the drills, so hopefully all of the colors are complete. But um, let me do a quick inventory for you guys. If you want, I'll just fast forward this while you listen to the music. Okay, guys, looks like I have everything. Yep, looks like I have everything. So the main difference is mostly the packaging. So let's see if we could compare the packaging. As you can see, they're actually in separate um, strips. Each color is in separate strips, and they come in, in small packs like this of 200 drills in each pack. So that's the main difference. While the one... In Diamond Art Club, it's actually in strips. So I had already opened this previously, and let me just show you. Like this one, it's in strips. So they're actually weighed. Um, they, they are actually weighed, and I had already done an inventory of this before. And they're all there. So let me just return them. So that's the main difference is that... Um, the ones from Diamond Art Club and other licensed companies, they each have their own types of drills. But the one from Diamond Art Club is actually weighed. Which is why it's rare for them to actually have missing drills. Occasionally, they do have. And it's actually packed in a bag like this. In a bag like this with a sticker right outside so just in case you keep your drills you store your drills in a separate container from your from your um, canvases you could easily find it because of the um, label right outside so there you go so let us just take a look at the quality so this is 3864 do we have 3864 here nope so we don't have so they have different colors 907 yeah so let's say for this one 907 so you can see there's dimpling there's dimpling 
of the drills. Um, however, that doesn't really cause concern for me. My concern is that um, I don't want to see tabs at the sides of the drills. So all companies actually have problems with, not problems, but all companies actually have trash on their drills, including Diamond Art Club. I remember that the first um, square that I did with them is actually the Mama Knows Best, and I had tons of trash in that particular um, painting. However, they actually give you enough quantity of um, extras of drills for you to replace whatever trash that you find in your drills so there you go but um the nice thing about them is that in case you um accidentally spill or you accidentally did something with your drills lose them or whatever you could just contact them and they will actually send you send you new drills to replace whatever ones that you have um that you have tossed or uh you had accidentally lost yeah, so um, I think it's the same way with AliExpress. So let me just clean this up. And I wanted to compare the canvas. I wanted to compare the colors that it had, uh, the canvas and the image itself on the canvas. So let's see. I'm quite excited about that, guys. So that's... Okay, okay guys. So there you go. So um, I actually did a quick check. So this painting, I've ordered it at 50 by 30, um, 50 by 30 size. So let's just do a quick check. It's actually 50 by 30, which is an odd size for me because normally the size is either 40 by 50 or 30 by 40. And this one um, is actually, uh, what's this? 30 by 50 which is weird so as i mentioned this one um had 42 colors i ordered this last september 8 and i got this today at october 19 and it was actually it cost me about 17 dollars 17.50 um australian dollars to get this here while the one from diamond art club as you can see is in port glue it's 44 by 32 cm. Um, it's I actually pre-ordered this last July 27. Uh, they shipped it on August 26, and I received this on September 21st. And it has 30 different colors, which cost me about $24.50 USD. So um, I'll compute the I'll I'll put the um conversion in Australian dollars in the description down below for you guys um as well. So, let's take a look at this painting. So, as you can see, it's all crumpled. I hope there's no wrinkles. <laughs> That's hoping against hope. We'll see, guys. And it actually came in just one strip of paper right on top. And it's also, take note, this is also in square. Let's compare this. Okay. Let's compare it with the image. Huh. Okay, so there you go. I don't know whether you can see it because of the glare, but there you go. That's how it looks like. And this one looks like all black. While the one in Diamond Art Club actually has more, has more, um, has more details right over here on her hair. And here... She is actually holding, is that her headdress? Yeah, it's part of her headdress. Well, this one is mostly black. It's mostly black. So that's the main difference with this 
particular um, painting as you can see the wolf had definition right over here had definition while here while here the wolf is mostly in the shadows it's mostly black although it does have more colors it came in 42 different colors but the way it was charted you can see the difference and what you're paying for so with this i have a feeling that it was charted by uh by the computer that's why it shows up like that it's all dark and it's all dark while this one you could actually see some details you can see the details of the wolf of the eye of the wolf right over here and the and the shadow although there's shadow right over here you can still see the browns and then the blacks are just this one while this one the mouth of the wolf you couldn't see it already there's no more mouth just the nose with the shadow so that's the main difference when you're paying for the licensed image as you can see her face you can see her eyes right with the what they call those with the with the red streaks on her face this one the red streak is just here and on the forehead but none on the other cheek yeah her face is like her hair her hair had actually hidden most of the when you order from when you order from diamond art club you actually get this so it's a sticker of what the image looks like with a sticker of the legend as well so you could use this however you want it to but i wanted to show you just the difference of the the image the image is supposed to have um her hair with the headdress oh that's her shoulder shoulder with a with a necklace right on there but when you look at this photo they had actually cropped off they cropped off the necklace so there's no you there's no blue pendant on the necklace there's no blue pendant here you can see there were some i don't know what you call those there were like the tooth there's the the tooth on her necklace but no no pendant and that's one of the things that i wanted with this particular photo uh with this particular painting and um princess mononoke here actually had the armband an armband which you can see in diamond art club you can see it here the details there's the armband with the with the necklace with a blue pendant however this one this image actually lost that it lost that particular it lost that particular um detail of the painting so it goes to show when you order from aliexpress they will crop the photo in certain ways that you don't know <laughs> yeah so when you look at the thumbnail that they give you it's actually cropped as well so that's the main difference when you're buying from um aliexpress however um let me just say that the canvas although it's wrinkled it actually doesn't have any bubbles which is good however like i um i mentioned I think like the wolf is the wolf it has its ears yeah but the wolf's face is like there's fur over here and then all black while the one in the one in diamond art club actually had more details yeah so there you go let me just return this Cover it up again. Yep. So that's the main difference when you're ordering from 
from AliExpress. Although you could um, request to have to have it um, order it in a bigger size. However, I wanted to compare it with the original with the original dimensions from um, Diamond Art Club and I find that this is the perfect size for this particular photo it could actually it could use if it came in bigger it's actually better as well however I think with this size you can see the detail of her face is actually quite good with all the necklace and even the wolf itself you can see the streaks her the piercing blue eyes of the wolf and I quite like it with the arrow over here and the, her headdress I, I quite like it so the main difference is that um, the one from um, from Diamond Art Club is actually hand charted it's hand charted which is why the details pop out more and they added quite a few other um, colors while the ones from AliExpress are actually machine machine charted or computer charted um, before we go let me just compare the colors of these two paintings let's compare them and see which one had the same colors out of all the colors that these two painting had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen it only had 15 same colors with 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 one with one design it only had 15 uh what do you call this 15 common colors while the rest are different um it would be interesting to see the two of this finished i will probably do this soon but um i actually had um i wa i had other paintings that um are in queue this would be quite interesting to see how the image will turn out considering they actually had uh differences in 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 the mc codes so when you look at the colors when you look at the colors this has more colors I mean like um variety of colors like it has blues it has blues on it and reds while this one only had oranges greens it's mostly earth tones see yeah so the difference with this is that um they actually had the the blue pendant and the blue eyes yeah what what's the color of the eye <laughs> i'm wondering what's the color of the eye on the on this particular wolf on their wolf if they didn't use ah it's all it's black okay so the eye of the wolf is actually black that's disappointing that's disappointing to see it only had black eyes guys that's disappointing huh so you get what you pay for <laughs> you get what you pay for yeah, so the original image had the wolf. The wolf had um ha had blue eyes, uh, which is captured here in Diamond Art Club. It had blue eyes, but of course the one the one from AliExpress doesn't have it. So there you go. It's interesting to see how it will turn out. Um, but for now, this is what I'll leave you. And once I've done this, I will um, share it on a separate video, of course, and show you guys the difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me compare the two company, uh, the two paintings. I don't want to promote um, promote people to go to AliExpress and buy fake, uh, not fake, but um, stolen artwork. Uh, which is why I wanted to show you guys the difference when you get the painting from a reputable seller uh, that had licensed work, meaning that the the work, uh, sorry, the artist is actually being paid for the the art that they actually produce compared to the one that you get from 
AliExpress. So not just AliExpress, there are a ton of other sites that actually sell stolen work. Um, it's just that in AliExpress, you could choose the, the variety of um, the size, the type of painting that you want, the, uh, whether you want it in round or squares, while the ones from suppliers like Diamond Art Club, they only sell it in one size and in one type. They only sell it in squares. They don't sell it in rounds and then they don't sell it in variety of sizes. However, um, Diamond Art Club actually sells you what they think is the best size and type of painting that is suited for this particular type of artwork. So there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do the comparison of these two paintings and I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. See you on my next video. Remember to sparkle like no other. Bye!